Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The Greater Bluffton Chamber, although only in existence a short time, is making a real impact on the small businesses and nonprofits throughout Bluffton and the Low Country. Their mission is to represent and promote fair and equal business practices for the Bluffton area community. They are the voice of local businesses as well as a symbol of integrity and strong business ethics. One of the vehicles by which they promote the area as a great place to visit, live, start a business, raise a family, or retire is through the Greater Bluffton Chamber of Commerce Business Expo. Here to tell us more about their first annual expo are members Eric Eckert, Megan Baker, and Cindy Owens. Welcome all of you to the show. Thank you. So Sandy. Eric, tell us a little bit about, um, I guess, the Greater Bluffton Chamber and, and the expo. First of all, Cindy, thanks for having us here sure. today. The Greater Bluffton Chamber of Commerce is, is a new grassroots organization. We've been, uh, really, we started this year, about four months ago, and right now have up to, I think, around 250 members uh, representing Bluffton and the Low Country. So we have a great mix of different businesses. Right. And with those businesses, you know, we thought, hey, it would be great to have a business expo. And so the, the three of us, as well as others that are on the events committee, have been working pretty hard to, to put together this expo, and uh, it's going to be uh, definitely something that's going to be wonderful for the community. I think so, too. So tell us about the actual expo starting next Tuesday and where, when, sort of the specifics. Well, the expo is going to be this Tuesday, uh, the 25th, and it starts at 10 o'clock, ends at 5, and then... Uh, Where's it at? Oh, it's at Sequence Ballroom, okay. where the Fred Astaire... Uh, Dance Studio is located at, right, right on 278, uh, right beside uh, Tanger One, very close to Tanger One. Okay. So it's, uh, you know, it's a great visible area. Uh, uh, it's a very good venue for this type of expo. We have about 40 plus uh, exhibitors that, uh, that represent the Low Country. So the, uh, the community will be able to really get to see a lot of uh, local businesses uh, and what they have to offer. Great. So. Kind of why did the event start, Cindy? Well, um, as we formed the, the new Greater Bluffton Chamber of Commerce, the board really wanted to start looking on some, into some events that would benefit not just the uh, members themselves, but the community. Um, there was a lot of excitement as we started to spin up, and when we started working on the expo, all the members were just thrilled to death, and hence we are sold out. Yeah, isn't that awesome? I think it's, it's just awesome. I think exciting. it is a great venue where, where it's going to be at the Sequins Ballroom. So how many, we're looking at about 40 participants. We are. So when the, the public um, comes in, what exactly will they see, Megan? Um, what type of vendors are they going to be looking at? We have a wide variety of vendors from car dealerships to landscape supply company, um, air conditioning companies, um, restoring companies. Avana Clean Restoration companies yeah. as well. I know we're, we're participating in it mm -hmm. as well. So I, I think it really is going to be a, a, a nice event for the community to see what's going on among Bluffton businesses. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be a, a, you know, a strong event. So who is welcome to attend? The public is open. It's open to the public. So anybody who would like to come and check out the businesses that will have um, booths there, anybody is welcome. Great. Great. So how do you think this event will impact the community? Well, I think it's um, going to be a great platform for everybody to come in and see who the local Bluffton business members are and the smaller businesses. And uh, really, it's all about buying, buying local. Um, let's all help each other out. We're, we're all in this together. Right. And at some point, they may find um, people that actually come in there, if they do have a small business or an individual business, they may find a need to um, be a participant of the, the chamber. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. They'll have every opportunity to get information about membership, and um, we'll, we'll have a booth there. The, the Greater Bluffton Chamber will have a booth also, and we'll be able to, um, to share all kinds of information. So tell us a little bit about the, uh, Eric, about the social event that's slated for that evening. Well, the, the Chamber has a quarterly social, and we've chosen this venue as, as, as the evening for it. And it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, after the, uh, the expo is over at 5, at 5.30 to 7, our quarterly social will start. The tickets are $10 for members and 20 for non-members. Uh, we'll have an array of food and beverages, 
And it's a great opportunity for not only chamber members to network, but also the public to come in and uh, meet a lot of the chamber members, meet a lot of businesses. Again, great business networking opportunity. Right. And, and that's what we try to do with the quarterly social. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a great time. Good. And what about um, finding out more information about the expo? Like where, you know, I guess some specifics about it. Where can mm -hmm. they where can they go, Megan? They can visit our website, which is www.bluftonchamberofcommerce.org, or they could call the chamber and talk to myself at 843-757-1010. Yeah, and we have all that, all those numbers um, on the screen. So if anybody's interested, they can just jot those down. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I think it'll be a, a, a great venue, a great day. Again, um, the, the, the date is the 25th, Tuesday. That's correct. And it's from? 10 to 5. Open uh, to the public. Open to the public, and then followed by our business quarterly social at 530 to 7. Great. Looking forward to it. Thank you for coming on to the thank show. Thank you for having me. Right. Thank Thanks, you. Sandy. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.